And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karina Control. Going to be our next rank up deck. We actually don't really see very much Karina Control anymore on the ladder. You, you really don't. Um, I, I kind of wonder why, but we're going to be playing it today. I feel like it may struggle against... I remember the last time that we played it, which was like three weeks ago. We... Uh, really didn't do that well but some things that that uh was wrong with our deck is we would get our opponent like under five life all the time but we couldn't finish them off we were not playing get excited and we were not playing atrocity and i think you got to have those cards to finish games i could definitely see playing a second atrocity i would not mind a second atrocity and i also wouldn't mind a second ruination because i think you know like there is a lot of demacia running around and ruination's very good against demacia and that could be just a tough matchup so that's, that's a card that I want a second of. So I want two of both of those, but there's not really anything else I want to drop. Um, could see maybe taking out Static Shock. Um, I kind of like one Hapless Aristocrat, but honestly, I could maybe see just not even playing Hapless Aristocrat and going zero there. So those are some things to think about. We'll go with this list for now, but like while we're playing, that might be some things that we will, will change. Um, but anyway, let's play some Karina Control. We're going to go play five games over in ranked, as we always do, and try to rank up on this Rank Up Sunday stream. Okay, I need to update the decklist command. I did not do that. Okay. So normally we'd want a mulligan Vengeance, but Vengeance does seem like a pretty good card against those. I think we're gonna get rid of these Mystic Shots. I'm gonna keep one Mystic Shot. Yeah, I guess we'll just mulligan Vengeance. We got two Vengeances. But they have the 3-2 the Life Steal, like that's something I want a Mystic Shot. I know what lurks in the shadow. Yeah, Mulligan is is uh, taking. Um, you won't suffer. I don't know like the exact definition, but basically, it, it kind of means like a do-over. Roughly, what the Mulligan dare. means is, is like taking a do-over, and so what it means in this game is a do-over of the cards in your opening hand. Uh, cards in the opening hand that you don't like, you can Mulligan away. I want to kill Maokai. But I don't want to spend 7 mana on a Thermogenic Beam to kill Maokai. Um, I could Mystic Shot them. And then have 5 mana Thermogenic Beam. That's not great. Alright, maybe we don't actually kill Maokai. Maybe we just go Brood Awakening. It's just kind of too awkward. So I can do that. These are all fearsome, so they can't block. Fair enough. As long as we kill Maokai. Yay. Here comes the punchline. No. Ugh. Ouch. Mm -hmm. 
Ouch. Yeah, not a card I was expecting at all. Yeah, that was an unexpected card. Yeah, Miscall, Miscall is a pretty sweet card. I, I like that that card exists. I'm not really going to be able to get rid of this thorny toad ever, am I? I'm sorry. I don't know, maybe... I guess I should have blocked. I guess I should have blocked it. Huh. That's tough. So if I thermogenic beam it, it takes four, goes down to eight, and then I can attack with an eight power vibe, put that down to one. And then maybe a mystic shot could finish it off next turn. No, I don't do any coaching. I did make sure, I did look at their cards left to make sure that just one jettison doesn't make it deep, but man, two je two jettisons? They'd already played one of those, hadn't they? Wow. Blood and salt. Yeah, I guess so. Get back here. So now my mystic shot doesn't kill it. I'm sure they already played one of those. Think about atrocitying this to kill Nautilus. Let's see. Dude, half their damage puts them down to eight. I guess atrocity would kill them, but these burn spells don't. Gonna be close. Glad they didn't have removal right there. Gotta hope they don't have removal.
I don't have enough to kill one of these things. So close. The double jettison was was amazing. Yeah, that's obviously the one on that game. Pretty sure they already played a jettison earlier, and that was their second and third jettisons. I just had both of those to, to get exactly deep. To exactly turn on Nautilus. That was just so perfect. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, did I just miss that? Did I just have lethal there with, with Mystic Shot and I missed it? Oh my gosh. I did just have lethal with Mystic Shot. And I was just frustrated thinking that, yeah, no, that could have Mystic Shot them. Well, that's embarrassing. Yes, yeah, so they could have had something else to respond, but I I could have at least still tried to win. I was lamenting past turns too much and not focused on the actual game. I'll do better this time. So we'll never know what those cards were. I should, I should call this deck, or I should call this video Master Mrs. Lethal. The problem with casting Vile Feast is if I cast Vile Feast, I don't get to cast anything else. Next turn. A little late, hapless aristocrat. Would have been nice to have you on turn one. Hey, Dr. Grindel. Ten hapless, best hapless. What's that noise? Oh, I can't wait. All right, got one of those crimson disciples out here. They just want to pass as well. I'm fine with that. Where's my axe? Let's make it deep. All right, it's down to thirteen. No refund.
Just want to get this card out of here before I Withering Wheel. I'm setting up... I'm... Uh... You know, certainly setting up a very obvious... Withering Wheel right now. You think Burns getting nerfed on Monday? I'm not I'm not so sure. I think it's basically 50-50 whether it does or not. If they don't break, they'll burn. The few are the many. Boom crew is perfect right here. Perfect. GG's. That basically had everything I wanted. Didn't really expect to lose that. But yeah, the, the transfusion, getting that four damage, you know, basically being another decimate, so having like three decimates, so that, that transfusion was perfect. losing that yeah that's this is a good matchup like burn is a good matchup for Karina control but that doesn't mean you win all all the time you know like if your opponent has um, you know all the cards you know like you know work out and line up and everything where's my axe I got it yes purify does get rid of unyielding yes you cannot purify a champion, but if there's a follower that has unyielding, yes, purify does get rid of it. No one's the wiser. Not past 
me. So that was a good, good turn for me. That's a good turn too. We're not gonna have much of a turn three. We could still Mystic Shot here on turn three and then still have five mana for the next turn. Never mind, we're just gonna lease on perfect, and then we'll still have five mana for the next turn. Let me show you what I can do. My turn. Sure, hope this works. What's your hurry? My best play. I think so. Other option is just take take four and then brood awakening. It's the other option. Worst case scenario is like noxion fervor. I'm I'm still doing the blocking so that if they transfusion, if they go like transfusion like one damage to this plus two plus two here, we'll still we'll kill it afterwards. Hey Zoltan, and like we wouldn't just take like a whole bunch of damage. Stop tearing up those cans, Harpy. You won't suffer long. Yeah, exactly. Don't want to take the risk of something happening. So as you saw there, that was a lot easier. Burn is definitely a good matchup for green control, but you don't win. You don't win 100% of your good matchups. Karma looks. And Vengeance is great against Lux later on, but I don't know if that means that we keep it in the opener. This can is so loud. Stop tearing up this can. I would like Elise. If I could pick any card to draw. Elise. Right here. Elise. Not the gotcha. My deck is like gotcha. The spirit gives to those who listen. Oh. I guess we'll use the gotcha. No, I, I don't really like I, Basically, since Frenzy Skitter got nerfed to a 3-2, it has just been underwhelming so much we each hold a that, within. um, not a, not a huge fan of that card now, and so it's, um, you know, it's out of the deck for now. Played against a Nivea Rekindler deck that wrecked you. That is a sweet combo. Nivea Rekindler. I like those decks. The Anivia, uh keep bringing them back decks. They're fun to play. I pull the strings. So if they go Grizzled Ranger. We're gonna have a least plus static shock. We could use a bite. So they, yeah, they block a lease. I was hoping that I was hoping that this thing would block one of the one of those also, but um, hmm. yeah, 
Yeah, we'll do the extra one damage there. Yeah, because Anivia dies, and then you put the Egnivia um, afterwards over there, but Anivia actually dies. Trindamir doesn't actually die. I'd have, to, I'd have to use a lot of cards to save Elise. So I could use Mystic Shot plus Get Excited and discard Vile Feast, or just Orb Ruination. Probably Vile Feast. I guess I would just cast Vile Feast. Yeah, I guess it'd be better just to cast Vile Feast and get excited and discard the Mystic Shot. If this works out, this is me trading three for two, because we're trading for the single combat and the badger bear. It's kind of two. Badger bear is like half of the grizzled ranger. We must all make sacrifices. Level up. Level up, 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 up. Smooth as silk. Hey, we got another raid. Whoa, Shermy. Bringing a huge raid in here. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much. So, yeah, we're we're doing a Rank Up Sunday stream where we're playing some more uh, Tier 1 decks. Usually I play... Um, now, usually we play a lot of uh, wide variety and, and decks that are on the edges of the metagame and make our own decks and everything like that. But Sundays, we got our tier one day. So, Shermie Cosplay, welcome. That's great. Uh, let's see. So, we go Brood Awakening, and then we just fill the board out with spiders or just get another Elise back in here and save some mana. We'll go Elise. Yeah, not the best use of Will of Ionia bouncing Elise, but uh, so we'll take it. Not the best for them. I, will play my part. I don't know if I like I'll need to ruination. My hand's not that good. Like, if they play Lux, I'll be sad. Maybe they just don't do anything. Brood Awakening that only gets us two spiders. Pumps them all up. Let's do it. Hey, Shade. Attack. Oh, that's 15. They're at 15. Darn. I tried. I 
I like drawing the Vengeance. That's a great draw. Because that can take out a big champion. Ooh, that's not bad. Fortunately, Spider Queen Elise is not a 5 3 anymore. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Hmm. What do I want to do about that? Cast Withering Whale right now? Probably take this damage first. Whoa. Oh, right, because they can't block with these things. So they're thinking. We don't really need to block Eye of the Dragon because all my things are fearsome. The Eye of the Dragon can't block. That's the only thing that can't block. Awesome. Two and two. Elise is good. That was definitely a Elise win. GG's. Alright, get that level 13. Chest. Or vault for this upcoming week. Alright, and our uh, fifth game with the deck. Game number five. That's what we do. We play five games with each deck. Hopefully get that 3 and 2. Keep that 60% win rate. That would be nice. Alright, face and burn. Burn's a good matchup, but we don't always win it. One of our losses was to burn. We're 1 and 1 against burn so far. Ugh, I don't love this hand. It's very slow. Yeah, that's something they changed, um, I don't know, like a month ago or so, is that now, yeah, your vault, you can you can continue to progress even after uh, level 13, and yeah, you just get an additional capsule for each additional level. And yeah, so you can get unlimited capsules, and the capsules, I believe, are one epic, two rares, and two commons, or... All right. Yeah, I believe. One epic, two rares, two commons. Okay, the patch note says, after level 13, you can now earn additional unlimited capsules for 4,500 experience each. Each capsule contain contains at least three rares and two commons. Okay, so it's three rares, two commons. At least. So we'll just pass, see what they play before I, like, Vile Feast. Obviously, we're going to be Withering Wailing next turn. We can still Withering Whale next turn and play Vile Feast, but we just don't need to play Vile Feast first because the Withering Whale will already kill both of those. So we can see if they play like another two toughness thing, then we can Vile Feast to that. To set up Whale. Let me show you what I can do. <clears throat> that's the worst case scenario, is Crimson Disciple. So of course that's why they have that.
Crimson Disciple in the mix. We'll do Vile Feast, get a blocker to be able to block the Saboteur. I guess I could have gone Brood Awakening. I was thinking, like, if we do this, we'd still have options with Wither Mirror or Get Excited. Like, I likely want to cast Get Excited on this thing. Is that all? Transfusion's good. Everything's in place. They have another transfusion. I could be in a lot of trouble. All right, no transfusion. That's good. So I don't actually attack. I don't think I actually attack. Because if I attack, then after post combat, then they could play Crimson Disciple or Bunker Rookie. Come on! I guess especially Bunker Rookie would be the problem. Not looking great for us. Not looking great. But again, I didn't want them playing a Legion Saboteur, Boom Crew Rookie, something like that that attacks, does damage right away. After combat. The two Withering Wheels that I kept in my opener. The other three cards I don't really like very much. Karina may help us finish the game out faster. That's another three turns away, though. By the time Karina does stuff, the game's probably over one way or the other. Come on. Why that card? Hate these cards that like require you to do stuff and they still do direct damage. Not done yet. So I should just probably just cast one of these Withering Whales instead of blocking, shouldn't I? Because they, they likely didn't have... I mean, they could have had four direct damage in hand, but if they do have four direct damage in hand, that's like two Mystic Shots, and I can't stop two Mystic Shots with a Withering Whale anyway. No, there's no experience cap.
being polite. Yeah, I've been a little too patient, haven't I? I don't think I can I can afford wasting all that mana. I think it's on me. I tried attacking first, see what they would do. Yeah, I, I was too I was too patient in that game. That's that's a that's a fault that I have sometimes. I definitely get too patient. At times. I, I should have just before the you know, before the damage, like when they play the three one, I should just withering whale. Um during combat. Uh, yeah, because they can't... Yeah, I should have just Withering Will during combat. That would that would have us go up to 5 instead of 2. And they had the 5 points of burn, but uh, yeah, they would have had a way to turn. Who knows? Maybe maybe I would have won. Maybe if I would have attacked... You know, I was probably too patient with the, the Vi if I you know, attacked the first time, get that 4 points in, do that, have Vi be a 5 power... Then I attack for five, put him down to nine. We're looking at just one more attack with the get excited. That's true. Burn is probably a matchup. The patience is ill-advised. Because, like, let's say that... Even, so even, like, the not attacking with Vi, let's say they do have a Boom Crew rookie, which was, like, the worst-case scenario for me. They could just still untap and play boom crew rookie you know like how i don't attack they they would still like yeah i'm worried about them playing boom crew rookie post combat they could still play uh the rookie um before attacks on their turn and i'm, I'm still not going to really be able to deal with it very effectively um they'd still be able to go to attackers so i think that was just a, a mistake by me also um so yeah, we ended up losing to burn twice. I think that that one, the first one, our uh, we had a great hand. The first one, well, we had a good, yeah, our hand was good. Um, we didn't really, yeah. Anyway, our hand was good, but the opponent's hand was just perfect against us, and those happened. That game, I think I uh, messed that game up by being too patient. And then, yeah, and, oh, gosh, there was that other one. Yeah, and then the first game, I could have maybe won if I would have missed it. You know, I I was frustrated by everything that happened, and I didn't uh, Mystic Shot, and I could have probably Mystic Shot for a win. That could have, that was a 2-3 that was very, could have very easily been a 4-1. Yeah, and then, yeah, and if it wasn't for, yeah, and if, you know, if it wasn't for perfect hands from the other person, yeah, I guess, I guess we were really close to a 5-0, that's true. <laughs> a 2-3 that was really close to a 5-0. <laughs> but you gotta you gotta play correctly, you got you have to have the cards work out for you. Um you know that kind of stuff. Uh, um No <clears throat> two of our three losses were to burn. Another loss was to um Sea Monsters, where I had like Ledros plus Atrocity set up to do lethal, but they they had um, Grasp the Undying in response to save themselves, but that Grasp only put them down to two, put them up to two, like it would have put them to two. And I I don't know why in my head I think that I thought that they were going to three. I had a Mystic shot left, and I just didn't, you know, I I was talking about everything and didn't even check, and so I didn't Mystic shot them. So. I, they still had they still had a, a lot of mana and they still had two cards so it's you know it's unclear if the mystic shot would have been lethal but we could have at least tried and forced them to have you know something else with those two cards yeah i think i think i think karina control is very viable it did it did feel like i had you know the tools to win all the games except you know one game my opponent just had all those decimates and ended up getting me exactly but besides that um yeah, it looked good, and I, I liked this I liked this list that we had. I like not having Frenzied Skitter. So, like, basically some things I'd recommend about the deck. I'd recommend not playing Frenzied Skitter. 
I recommend just playing one hapless aristocrat, no more. You don't, because this is a card you hate to draw later on. And basically, I think Frenzy Skitter is a little underpowered these days, and so I like having Get Excited and Gotchas kind of instead. Um, and uh, yeah, they have less Static Shock because with the Demacia decks, it's not so good against Demacia. Kind of need like these kind of cards, but you do need to have like the burn spells to finish off uh, control decks. You need get excited, you need atrocity uh, to pair with Ledros to beat control decks. All right, but there we go. So that's Karina control. Um, those y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think about the list. Um, you know, any other comments, questions, all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching some Karina Control, and I'll see you for the next video.